Cable Croc system is a system that has been designed to combat cable theft. We have two systems. There's a light duty system, which is obviously suited to the lighter industries, and we have a medium duty and a heavy duty system. The light duty system ranges from a 10 millimeter square cable to a 25. The medium duty ranges from 35 millimeters to 50. And the heavy duty ranges from 70 square millimeters to 185 square millimeters. In the system, when it is installed, we can accommodate the earth wire, which runs along the cable. It's attached to the cable with cable ties, and then passes through clamps, which are anchored to an anchor, which is anchored into the ground. All the fasteners are of the shear nut type, which means once the nut has been fastened, and tightened, and snapped off, uh, you cannot remove the bolt. Mm. So the system becomes a permanent installation. The CSIR was approached as an authoritative body and a neutral body to conduct the tests for us. Mm. They went to extreme measures to ensure that all recordings took place were correct and accurate. The results of this can be viewed on our website, cablecroc.co.za. The South African Chamber of Commerce and Industry have quoted that the cable theft damage is in excess of 5 billion rand a year. The light duty comprises a ground anchor, which is the black item. This gets concreted into the ground. It is left in overnight. The following day we come along and we insert the anchor plate, which is sliding up and down. So with this being in the ground, this slides to a position where we want it. Before we slide this plate onto the anchor, we attach the cable and the bracket, which is this part here. That's the bracket at the bottom and the cable is inside there. We attach this to the anchor plate. Then we have the facility whereby the whole unit is lifted and placed over the um, anchor and that is held into the ground. That is for the normal uh, intermediate uh, anchor. Yeah. With the end unit where we come out of the ground, which is then something like this, we have this attachment on the side here, this clamp, which uh, we either use a stainless steel spring to suit the flexibility of the cable or we can use a metal lobster back. The difference being the lobster back gives us a very rigid position while the stainless steel spring is a lot more flexible and we can accommodate changes in direction. The spring is obviously a lot longer uh, to accommodate the bending radius of the cable, but once it comes up out of the ground and it goes into your switchgear connection and uh, we lock the uh, end cap on the top on the inside of the box and then we screw up the end nut on the underside to lock it into the switchgear enclosure positively. This is a combination of the medium and the heavy duty unit. They are both identical in design and structure with the exception of the cable bush is sized to suit the diameter of the cable. This cable in particular is a 185 square millimeter cable. This is classed as an intermediate assembly. The ground anchor gets concreted into the ground. We allow the concrete to cure because we provide a additive, uh, an accelerator with our kit so that we ensure that the contractor does have the correct recipe for his concrete. So once the concrete is set, we come with a cable and we place the bush around the cable and we latch it into the cable saddle, which we then engage onto there. We hinge this up and it locks into this position over here. We apply the shear nuts. So then that is our intermediate unit. The anchors are randomly spaced to suit the, the site conditions, uh, generally between four and six meters, uh, but that gets assessed uh, according to a uh, risk assessment. Then we have a terminal end unit. That is where the cable enters or exits the trench. As I said, it's a system that protects the entire cable. And this is generally the portion which gets exposed above ground level. So we have the cable gripping system. We have the system which uh, attaches to our protector. It comes out and it ends up by going into your distribution box mm. and being locked with the lock nut. The spring over here, once again, is normally in the vicinity of about 1.2 meters long to accommodate the curve of the cable. Where we come out and should the um, switch gear be at a higher level, we do have extension pieces that we can build on here and extend to reach up to the required switch gear. Mm. 
in many cases we come out and we've got to go up against a pole which goes up three meters or a mast which goes even higher. Mm. We do have extension pieces that build up right to the top to the ex mm. required length. 